Hi, today we're going to be talking about a variety of baseball and softball skills. And we're going to break those down into three different types of skills. So we'll be doing fielding, throwing, and batting. Uh, today on this video, we're going to talk about fielding. Um, so again, just you can start with bare hands, you know, and if you don't have a um, soft softball or baseball at home um, to use with bare hands, then I would make a ball out of sacks with tape that we've done on some other videos uh, or also uh, making a ball out of some socks, you know, just something really soft um, that you can use with your bare hands to kind of get that motion down. Uh, for fielding from the ground, um, but also, you know, if you do have a glove uh, at home that you can use, uh, then, you know, really trying to get the size of the sport that you may uh, play or the skills, you know, so there's a variety of different things that you can use uh, in order to practice those skills. But the very most important thing to start with is that stance, you know, so when we're being stationary, learning how to field um, and bringing that ball close to us uh, is kind of that stance. So I would suggest especially for our younger grades that may be watching this uh, start from your knees so that you can really kind of get that motion with your hands and your arms looking at the ball tracking the ball uh, and then getting to your feet you know those of you that we've kind of been through this skill before uh, our older grades here then go ahead and start from your feet and just get kind of into that repetition and that that motion so I'm going to kind of start from my knees like I suggested and what you want to do is kind of have an angle to your hand or to your glove. So I'll turn sideways here just so that it's out. You are extended out so that you are receiving that ball and bringing it to you, or the word I've used before is absorb into your body uh, in order to kind of give with that ball. So we're not stabbing or lunging at the ball as it comes to us on the ground. So when I'm in that position here, all right, I have my what would be my glove hand, which is my non-dominant hand, a little bit lower. I have this other hand, my dominant hand, a little bit up so that I'm going to be kind of grabbing, almost like an alligator, right? Grabbing after its food. Um, I want to be able to kind of catch that ball with both hands so that I have complete control of that. So I'm up on my knees. I'm kind of leaned over from my waist, not my back. Okay, I'm leaned over from my waist and my hands are extended out. And as someone could either roll that ball or if you have a tennis ball, right, and you wanna bounce it or roll it off of the wall, in order to practice that motion, you can do that too. So what I'm doing is, is I'm gripping that ball and as I bring it to myself, I wanna bring it to my belly button. And kind of, a, a, if you're a beginner in this skill, please over-exaggerate this, right? Even when I was playing in high school, my coach was talking about just doing that repetition so that when I transfer that into a game, it becomes natural, right? So I'm extending out, I'm bringing that ball close to my belly button and my head is down. Notice you cannot see me looking up. I wanna make sure that I'm tracking that ball all the way in. So if I have that ball out here in front of me, I'm bringing it here closer to here so that now I'm gonna get ready to throw. So I'm basically I'm not wasting time, right? If I have both hands already on the ball, then it's easier and it's faster, it's more efficient for me to transfer that into a throw then. Okay, so again, from a glove standpoint, I'm here, ball's rolling in, I'm bringing both of those items up so that then I'm going to get ready to throw. When I get into this more of a stance, I can practice my approach to the ball. So I'm trying to put this ball where it's on screen here. So even if I don't have someone to work with um, at any given point in time, I can still practice my approach to the ball when I'm fielding it on the ground. So I want to approach low. Again, when I'm in a waiting stance, you know, if I'm an infielder, outfielder, that's kind of a little bit more in depth, right? We just want to practice that motion um, as far as approach to the ball. I'm approaching the ball low when it's already on the ground. I want to be as close to the ground with my glove or with my hands as possible. So when I'm here and I'm approaching, I'm taking those steps up close to the ball. I am reaching and extending out and I'm bringing it to me, okay, all the way to my belly button and my head is down. Both hands are on the ball. I'm not sticking this glove out here as much as possible. Again, I'm trying to help prevent those errors and I'm trying to teach myself to be more successful when I do that. 
right? As I increase and I advance these skills, there's a variety of different things that we can begin to show you. But when we want to basic, learn those basics, make sure that you're using those two hands, fielding the ball, bringing it all the way to your belly button, my head is down, and now my footwork can come into play to go into those throws, right? Then we can practice taking that basic skill into then what we call a forehand and a backhand. A forehand is going to be a ball that is received on your glove side. A backhand is going to be a ball that is received on your throwing hand side. So I'm turning my glove over. Again, I suggest kind of starting down from the knees. And this drill right here, you can put one leg out to the side and bend the knee of the forehand side. And what could happen is, is again, either rolling a ball off of a wall or having you know, someone working with you to where you're rolling it back and forth to each other. Again, my glove is down here. As that ball comes to me, I am bringing it in. I'm putting this other hand and trapping it on top, kind of like that alligator, bringing it up to my belly button. My head is down and now I'm ready to either roll it back off the wall or roll it to my partner. So that's kind of just receiving it on that forehand side, okay? I can do this same drill with my backhand. Now I'm just gonna switch sides. Now I turn that glove over to where my glove, which would be my palm, right? If I'm using my bare hands, my palm is now going to be the thing absorbing, all right? So I'm sticking it here, and as I come, there's two different philosophies that I'd like for you to, there's two different philosophies that I'd like for you to practice, okay? One of them is kind of a scoop towards the ball, right? So as that ball is kind of running towards me, I can scoop it going forwards, all right? And there's also the philosophy of scooping away. So that as I grip that ball, now I'm scooping away, and now my glove can come to my throwing hand and I'm getting ready to throw that direction, right? So in a, in a game type situation, you might use either of those types of philosophies in normal gameplay. So practicing both of those in a drill type of format, I don't have to move my feet, I can focus in on that fielding and that skill level so that I can become really efficient in both of those and really successful with both of those. Again, when you're talking about the fielding from the ground, what you wanna do is really track the ball with your hands and your eyes. Really make sure that you're focusing on bringing that all the way into you. Now, on a fly ball situation, basically the thing you want to remember is moving your feet first, right? So when that ball is up in the air, you wanna make sure that you're tracking it getting behind the ball and making sure that when I have this up, kind of like when we talked about in our volleyball skills, my hands are up, right? That setting. So I want to make sure that I get either both hands up if I'm using this and I suggest starting with a really soft ball if you have bare hands on this. So again, that sack type ball with the tape or a ball of socks um, in order to practice this. So just in case you miss it, right? You're not gonna get hit in the head with something that might really hurt you. If you have that glove, you wanna get a little bit more of a firm or start with those socks even if you're um, just learning how to kind of get that ball up in the air and feel confident and comfortable in catching that. But again, I want both of those hands up. I want them above me and I want my eyes being able to track the ball just over my glove or just over my hands. And I wanna be behind the ball. I don't want to have to reach behind me in order to catch that ball. Again, just wanting myself to be a little bit more successful in that catch. So again, you can start from your knees, but you'll have, really have to have a nice accurate tosser or be able to really kind of pinpoint bouncing that tennis ball off.